I'm showing you how to download Thunderhack Plus for 1.12.2. So for the download, you want to head over to their official GitHub page. As you can see, this is the Thunderhack Plus one. Um, this is basically it right here. You have links to their Discord server if you would like to join that. And I will leave the link to my Discord server at the top of the description as well. Um, together actually, of course, with this GitHub page for you to go to. Anyways, um, you just want to go over to the releases tab over here. You can click on this latest one right there. That's going to be this one. You can scroll down a ways and then here in the assets, which might look like this, you want to go ahead and download the .jar version of Thunderhack. So here, as you can see in my downloads, I have Thunderhack V2.41. That's the latest version for 1.12.2. Great, so now before we continue, you need to make sure that in the Minecraft launcher over here that you do have Forge for 1.12.2 installed. If you do not and you're not sure how to, well then I'll leave a tutorial for that down in the description below. Anyways, I do think that a lot of you will already have this. Um, anyways, we can continue back to this downloads page over here. We're going to want to put this in the mods folder. So we can press on Windows and R at the same time, just like that. And then you want to type in a percentage sign, app, data, and then another percentage sign, just like so. Then hit on Enter or click on OK. So you might either end up right here or right here. Either way, you want to make sure that you're in the folder called Roaming. Then you want to go into the .minecraft folder, which should be somewhere near the top. And then you want to scroll. Well, not really scroll. I don't have to, at least. Uh, you want to find the mods folder right over here. And you can go into that, and I already have a mod in here. I'm just going to delete that. Um, and what you want to do is you want to drag your Thunderhack right into this mods folder, just like so. If there's any mods in here that are for other versions, so not 1.12.2, make sure to delete them or at least remove them and move them to another location temporarily. Something I also recommend doing, for example, if you just, you know, um, want to mess with Minecraft mods um, more often, is to go over to this .minecraft folder over here. You can, I can go ahead and right click, show more options, and then I actually have the option to create a shortcut, as you can see. And I can just place this on my desktop or somewhere else convenient, and that way I can just click on that and get immediately redirected to this .minecraft folder here. Of course, you can also do that for the mods folder if you wish to do so. As it is something I do recommend. Anyways, with Forge 1.12.2 selected and Thunderhack in your mods folder, we can go ahead and launch Minecraft. So here, as you can see, it has been loaded up. I mean, it's pretty obvious that um, it has been activated, as you can see. Anyways, I'm just going to head into single player and then just a random world over here. And I'll quickly show you guys how this works. So upon spawning in, the game will already tell you, but the default keybind is P and you can use that to open up this over here. All right, so here I have all of the different modules and I've just kind of organized them here like so. Um, you can right click on these and that'll extend them just like so. As you can see, some of them are quite long so you might have to scroll a little bit. These are all organized just like so. Um, here in this client area, you can um, change some client settings um, as well. So basically for each of these utilities, you can click on them just like that and that's going to turn it on. And you can click on them once again just like so and that's going to turn them off. Um, you can actually also right click on them and that's going to give you a tiny little drop down menu uh, of some customization. As you can see, some of them will have more customization options and some of them will have less um, as you can see and you can fiddle around with that customize that all to your liking um, here in this client area as well in the client settings you can change your language from Russian to English um, as you can see right over there and here you actually also have the option to open up the Thunder GUI which you can see over here if I click on that I'll get uh, this area over here and basically this contains everything that the other one also does um, just, but just organized in a different way as you can see you also have a search tab up here um, if you wish to search for that 
If you wish to do so, you can also go over here and add an internal friend, so through Thunderhack. Um, and right over here, you can click on this little folder icon, and what that's going to do is open up the config folder. In here, you can place config files um, of your own, or for example, downloaded from the internet. That was that menu, so you also actually have a chat area over here, and you can use the dot prefix instead of the regular Minecraft slash prefix. I can type in dot help, and that's going to give me a list of basically all the commands I can use. I believe also that it should give you the way to use it if you just type it in the chat like that, um, except that it is in Russian. Uh, but you can probably just scan this with the Google Translate app or something like that. Um, I did think I changed my language from Russian to English here, but oh well. Um, anyways, basically these are all the commands here. I'll quickly go over the .cfg command, which is the .config command. So if you want to load a specific config that you do have in your config folder, you can type in .cfg load just like this and then just type in the name of the config for example maybe it's uh, main or cpvp um, just whatever the name of the config is and I believe you also need to put the file name extension so it would be um, dot cfg load and then for example main dot th um, anyways here it's telling me that there is no main dot th config which makes sense because there isn't one. Um, anyways, basically that is that. If you do have any more questions or stuff like that, um, then do of course feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.